care discussion was one of the most drivers really? in the White House, and we had plenty of failures. But if you're going to unveil a huge health care bill Monday night at 6 p.m., what do you do the week before? You call in health care experts that are more or less on your side, and you brief them about it, and you try to get them on board. You call in the groups on your own side and try to get them on board. You call in the American Hospital Association, the American Medical Association, all the relevant groups. Some of them aren't going to support it, but maybe they at least don't oppose it as quickly as possible. Maybe they say they have an open mind. This is just politics 101. I mean, this is not, you know, super complicated. Every White House does this. And this, they are so intoxicated with the notion that Trump's going to bless it. Paul Ryan's worked it out. He's worked it out in the conference. He's a smart guy. Trump has this magic potion that he just slaps on something and it goes sailing through. And everyone's just going to ro roll over for it. These congressmen are going to go home in a week or two. And they're going to be with a hospital administrator at the largest hospital in their district and 20 doctors uh, who are going to come see them at their, you know, when they're right. at home. And they're going to discover, gee, this thing, who, who's in favor of this exactly? There's a second and a third layer and, of consequences. And I just think the failure to really plan this is really my, astonishing. I, I, I mean, I've never right seen, I've honestly, I've never Democrats. seen, think of the Obama White House. I mean, the liberals hated this, but Rahm Emanuel spent hours, days, weeks with the insurance companies, with the hospital association. What do you need to support this? Well, and then, they had, then the liberals didn't like it. They wanted the public option, so they had to work on some stuff to get oh them on board. It takes a long time. Why are they unleashing this at the beginning of March? He I misses mean, Obama. Well, well, no, no, I mean, look, it was, they got it through, and it took a just huge a amount bit. of work. And Obama spent six months going around the country campaigning for it. And well, they, they think they can just slap this down with, with, with a, not that huge a margin in the House and a small margin in the Senate, and everyone's going to go, okay, you, Paul Ryan and can Donald I, Trump agree on this. Because that's Bill, ridiculous. Sam Bill's and Nick. Yeah, but Bill's absolutely right. I mean, and for seven years, um, you know, the, the Republican mantra on Obamacare was, Done in the middle of the night, done in secret, backroom right. deals, uh, you know, rushed, not not vetted properly. We had to see what was in, get past the bill to see what was in the bill. Every one of those rhetorical devices, you can apply tenfold to what the process is right now. And it just, it's astonishing. I mean, hypocrisy goes hand in hand. And pol politicians are all hypocrites. But what, this is a level of hypocrisy that I feel like is astonishing. Yeah. The other thing is that... You know, Obamacare was not done just when Obama was elected. I think people need to realize this. Obamacare was the product of years and years of a debate within the liberal, progressive, democratic community about what health care should be like in an age when you probably weren't going to be able to do anything close to single payer. And they ended up pretty close to what Mitt Romney did in Massachusetts, just applied nationally. The debate within the Republican circles hasn't been as rigorous about what the replacement for Obamacare should be. And you're seeing the product of it now where you have this thing well, slapped together. Yeah. I mean, they don't even know. Mika, they don't even know. We were talking to Jim Jordan, one of the most influential conservatives on the Hill, who said, I haven't even seen the bill. Rand Paul yeah. tried to get in to see the bill last week. They locked yeah. him out. This is insanity when you, you, you think, again, you think you're going to shove this down the throats of men and women that got elected to Congress in 2010 and 2012 and 2014, specifically running against Obamacare. They are not going to bend and break like that. Trump may think he can intimidate people on a debate stage, but these guys have their own careers. And Bill Crystal's right. They're going to go home, and the main hospital administrator's going to pound them. The 20 doctors that, that held fundraisers for them over the past two years are going to hammer them. People in church are going to hammer them. They're going to get hammered by the local newspaper's editorial boards. They're going to get it from all sides. And if any of them have the courage to have a town hall meeting, they're going to get hammered at the town hall meeting. Conservatives are going to be hammering them. The AMA is going to be hammering them. AARP is going, they're going to be getting it from all sides. And in part, they're going to be getting it because they're going to go home not knowing what they're talking about. Because this was done in the middle of the night. They passed this at 2 a.m. And nobody, after we all have made fun of Nancy Pelosi for years for saying we have to pass the bill to know what's in it, guess yeah. what they're going to do? They're <laughs> going to make Republicans vote for this bill without having a clue what is in it. All right. I, it's hard. But to they're not going to. It's going to fall apart. Budget. There's never going to. Okay. Be, so, I, they will not be.